Hi everybody, welcome to the vlog and welcome to another walk around of some more shopping here in Moscow. Today we're at the very famous food city. It's actually one of the largest wholesale markets in Europe. It has over 5,000 different vendors and it covers 1.2 hectares. Uh, this place is huge, let me tell you. Uh, we're just about to get run over. So we're gonna head on inside and have a look at Food City and see where the other, where the Moscovites go shopping in a big way. Okay, let's go. So when you first walk inside, this place is huge. Now it's actually over different levels. It's kind of a supermarket within a supermarket within a supermarket, if that makes sense. It has small uh, shop vendors and then you can buy things basically one at a time. Or if you like pickles, for instance, you can buy them in uh, gallon buckets. Um, the place is huge. Uh, this is just entrance one. Uh, we'll try and walk around and see some uh, bigger wholesale kind of uh, things for sale. Um, you really kind of overwhelmed when you first come in. You just don't know where to look. Um, it's kind of... I don't know the best way to describe it. It's kind of mini markets within a huge uh, undercover kind of a um, shopping center kind of thing. But it's uh, both retail and wholesale. And it's kind of got an outdoor area as well once we get there. So the key here is though is that you kind of can buy things in bigger bulk. So rather than buying small amounts, you buy, you know, kind of things in 12s and 24s and buy cases. And you just have to be careful for forklift trucks as they go by. It's a very big place. If you like uh, nuts. Different types of uh, dried foods and then a lot of things in wholesale quantities so out here you see everything basically in bulk lots so you come to a vendor and then buy things in as many as you like quantities they do have things in smaller amounts anybody likes uh, bulk candy We'll see here more dried foods. So you basically buy it by the kilo. Uh, and this is level one where we are here. There's an elevator that goes upstairs to level two. We'll go up there a little bit later. And there's no real organization to the place here when you walk around too. It's very, very mixed. So, uh, dried fruits. Um, there's more here. So you basically buy by the large bags. Okay, we'll have a walk around and we'll come to some more exciting things. This is really the shopper's shop, let me tell you. So if you're not into shopping, probably this video is not for you or coming here is not for you. It's, uh, it's really no end to how much you can see here. Well, here's some fruit and vegetables. All right, we're gonna go and see outside as well. There's an outdoor area too. Walking along to uh, outside, it's just mind blowing how many stalls there are. There's just stall after stall after stall after stall. It's just unbelievable, really. 
So we've come to the outdoor area of the market here and it's absolutely huge. So basically rather than you buying things by the kilo here, you buy things by the box or by the pallet. So uh, as we look around here, you'll see basically these trucks lined up and they go on the entire uh, outdoor area. This is aisle number two. So basically you buy by the, you sort of choose what you want in terms of, this is grapes for instance. And then they've got them in the back of the truck here. And you can basically buy them by trays or by pallets, I guess. So, from Uzbekistan. So the grapes are from Uzbekistan. I'm not sure how far that is from Moscow, but it's a long way. So, so this is aisle number two. This guy here has some, uh, or, uh, some tangerines or satsumas. But it's uh, basically there is truck after truck after truck here. And it's just uh, amazing to see, really. And every person is looking around at me here. Uh, so yeah, so you can choose just to buy a few of them, or you can buy them by <laughs> a truck, I guess. So this is kind of where all of the, the supermarkets and markets come in Moscow to buy, and then resell them then. Just thought I'd stop and point out the pomegranates here. So this guy has a super nice display of them. So I'm not sure, I guess he sells them by the tray here, but... And he's got pomegranate juice as well in the bottles. So, this is very cool, the pomegranates. This is walking down aisle number three. I think there's about ten aisles. I'm only going to walk down a couple of them. But it's, uh... There's sort of a sense of urgency here. I think everybody has to sell all their trucks of their, uh... Of all of their vegetables and fruit. This is pretty much only grapes here. And there is just truck after truck after truck of grapes. So it's just uh, amazing to see the amount of grapes that they have. Hey guys. Um, so if you want to know where all of Russia's grapes are, they're all in this one market right here. And I'm not 100% sure what these are. They. I think they're persimmons. I keep looking at them, but I'm not sure of the name. Hey, I think it's persimmons, the name of them. Uh, I'm going to Google it and let you know on the next part of the video because it's just the amount of guys here and they're basically the urgency of basically a truck pulling up and then basically emptying it and then unloading it is just uh, intense. And there isn't a lady around here, let me tell you. There's basically people buying for their own markets. So you'll see here when these trucks arrive, that they basically rush to empty them out and get them unloaded. And then uh, people are sort of selling them on somewhere else. And as a new truck pulls up, you will see here how quick it is here. They start ripping everything apart. This is the aisle with the apples. There isn't quite the urgency down here with the apple sales. But there's a lot for sale though. It seems a little bit quieter and more subdued. And the funniest thing here is that this guy with his uh, traveling markets, he's come to sell uh, boots and jackets to everybody. So... There's some nice looking apples, by the way, <laughs> let me tell you. But it's uh, a lot of apples and it just goes on and on. And there isn't really anybody down here, so I don't know what happens. This is actually Saturday today, so this is basically the weekend market for these guys. But there is a lot of varieties and if you have a look back there, these are 40 foot semi trailers, by the way, that are completely full. So it's, uh, it's very uh, interesting for me to see, coming from retail, the uh, amount and then basically how people buy them in 
bulk lot like this is just uh, mind-blowing. So I've just come across the aisle with the potatoes here. Uh, also, um, this is cabbages and onions and pumpkins a lot of pumpkins and this is all wholesale quantity so you're buying in 10 kilos bag at the same time so big bag hi i don't speak russian hi привет look at all the potatoes this guy's done well look finished empty truck uh, a lot of uh, this one is pretty much all vegetables here. So. <laughs> Potatoes, more cabbage, just uh, and onions. All right, it's getting a bit cold now, so I'm going to walk back inside. Maybe you want uh, some carrots. Potatoes by the truck. A lot of potatoes. No. It's very nice. Oh, thank you. I don't need. It's too heavy to carry. Too heavy. No car. Okay. Okay. Only on bus. On bus. On bus. Hi. A lot. It's really amazing. I'm completely shocked of the amount here. I came here last year in the winter time and it was raining and cold and snowing and I didn't get a chance to see the place properly. So I'm glad now I came again and had another walk around. So I'm going to head back inside and warm up a little, find something for lunch, potatoes and more potatoes. Katochka is the name in Russian for potato, Katochka. So, any variety you like. Um, yeah, a lot. Okay, so I'm still outside. I just sort of walked across the street here. The traffic getting in and out of this place is kind of crazy. Uh, and this is the outdoor area where there isn't the undercover market. So basically, we have the same setup here with the trucks, and you'll see them just sort of going down and down and down here, and then all the way back up the road here, behind, and just keep going and going. And they have persimmons. These are persimmons. I was wondering what they were. And there is, I would have to say, 50 or 70 trucks of just persimmons. Here is pomegranates as well. But there is, yeah, pomegranate in English, from Azerbaijan, so, I just, Azerbaijansky, Azerbaijan, <laughs> so I just thought I'd point it out, and we have a look behind there, we can see the truck full, uh, and also the juice as well, so, very cool. The amount of small shops here is just staggering. Uh, after I came back inside, I went up to the second level. Uh, there's not that many shops up there, uh, mostly it's storage and uh, non-food items. So a lot of clothing, car parts, uh, houseware items, uh, things for businesses like containers and packaging. I had a nice quick lunch. I met some nice uh, people up there I was chatting to for quite a while. And here I am sort of walking back now towards the exit. Uh, the, it's, it's, it's probably about a kilometer long from one end to the other. Uh, it does look like I'm walking a little bit fast here. I didn't realize until I'm watching it back now the, um, the <laughs> speed that I'm walking at. But there's just sort of business after business after business. And then this is actually the first aisle as you come in up from the outside. So there's a lot more foot traffic on this first lane here and then a lot more little uh, retail kind of shops where you're just buying in smaller amounts. People push these sort of trolleys around and then just do their general shopping. 
and then where they want a bulk lot like a you know box of 12 or 24 they just grab it and go and there's lots of places here you're selling the uh, things like spices and nuts and seeds by the pound or kilo some pomegranates just there you'll see these kind of uh, boxes here with all the nuts in some pickles there olives so there's uh, a lot of things here's some bakery items the uh, thing with the bread there is most people are buying that and eating that within a day or so they're not gonna really keep or store that so there's also lots of cell phone and mobile phone shops here in this front entrance and you can actually uh, choose your mobile phone number from a list on the wall rather than just getting a random number given to you. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, this, this is kind of the aisleways that are between each uh, bay there. So the forklifts come in and out from the main docks and then they help them sort of load these little shops. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off from here and I'll let you watch the rest of this sort of walk out to the exit. And it's really, uh, it's just a fascinating place. Honestly, uh, I, I have been here before. I mentioned that earlier. But it was a really miserable day that day we came. So we didn't sort of spend too long there. We just grabbed what we needed and went home. We brought a friend with us so we could sort of do a bit of combined shopping and then split the prices of some bulk items. So there's even some kids' toys right here. Check that out. All the pink toys. And your little girl nice and interested in something. You don't see too many kids here at this sort of shopping area. It's really just uh, adults. There's not too much for kids to see and do in this place, apart from just follow their parents around. There's a wine store here with alcohol. There's um, a lot of uh, interesting uh, alcohol shops with just massive selections. And even I was looking at the whiskies and rums, which I hadn't even seen before. It's really just amazing that no matter what you think you can't find, there's somebody selling it somewhere. Oh, look at these cakes right here. Lots of cakes. You buy them in trays there. So rather than just getting one cake, there's trays of cakes. And it just kind of keeps going and going. So I hope you enjoyed the walk around of Food City and checking out some of the vendors. It was, uh, for me, is a very cool place to walk around. So many people there, so many trucks, so much food. Um, yeah, it's very different. So basically it's an indoor, outdoor, open air, warehouse market. I don't know how to describe it. Food city is the simple word in English. I'm just walking out of the metro now. I'm gonna catch a bus home and get this video sorted out and get it online for you to watch. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Again, the I Like Cruise Ships channel is coming to you from Moscow, Russia. But it's uh, interesting to see different places and explore different areas around Moscow. Let's see where my bus is now. And we're good. Oh, I've come up with a different staircase. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Have a nice day, whatever you're planning to do after watching this. There's more videos, I'll link a video in the top up here after this video finishes. Thanks for being a subscriber if you're a subscriber. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks everybody, bye.